Now let's look at the basic WooCommerce settings in the shop page layout. All the WooCommerce settings are in the different tabs of the settings screen here. So the basic settings are in the uh, general tab and the catalog tab. We'll look at the others when we get to taxes, uh, payment and shipping, etc. You're going to want to set your country here. If you're in the United States, notice that it asks you for your state as well. This helps later when you set your state taxes and your currency here. The uh, remaining options on this page are uh, self-explanatory, so just uh, read through and uh, check them off. Then save your settings and uh, go to the catalog page. The first drop-down affects the default product sorting, and here are the options. These are also self-explanatory, but notice that the default product ordering includes the custom order feature. You set this in the menu order field of the product form, and a higher number will put that product uh, at the front of the list. Then down to the shop page display, and see this is three options. Show products, which is the default, and then show subcategories and sh uh, show both products and subcategories. So let's look at the show subcategories list. So these are our two main product categories with the product count in brackets. N notice that they're missing the th uh, their thumbnail image. So you would probably want to um, add that if you're going to use this feature. And I'm going to go back and uh, show both. Here's what it looks like. So now it's showing both the categories and the products. And below the shop page display, you have the default category display. This applies to products within a category and also to subcategories of a category. Remember, categories can contain other categories, etc. So these are the basic shop layout options. Uh, for more advanced options, see the next video.